There's the queen right there. You can see how big that queen is. We'll go ahead and suck her up. I'll show you her later. Well, we have a huge pile of yellow jacket hornets here, including this massive queen. Leave a comment down below and guess how many yellow jacket hornets you think we catch today, and I'll count them out and answer it at the end of the video. I'm out here at a friend's house who recently discovered another nest in their backyard. This is such a dangerous situation because they have four young kids who like to play outside. And these yellow jackets are so aggressive and will sting anything going near their nest. Now recently they discovered the first yellow jacket nest a few weeks ago and I came out and destroyed that one by fumigating it with ozone gas. Well when they found this one and I heard about it, I said I'd come out again and take care of it. But this time I'm going to use a different method. I'm going to suck up the yellow jackets using a yellow jacket vacuum. It's basically a shop vac that fits on a bucket with soapy water in the bottom. Now I use soapy water versus regular water because the soap breaks the surface tension, causing them to drown quicker. It also affects their respiratory system, making it much more efficient. This process is going to be pretty simple. I'm just going to take the hose and stick it near the hole and suck up all the yellow jackets going in and out. And when that slows down, I'm going to dig down, find the nest chamber and get more. So at the end of this video, the bottom of this bucket will be completely full of yellow jackets, including the queen. We're going to find the queen. So leave a comment down below of how many you think we're going to get. It's about to get really intense here. I'm going to put on my bee suit. It's over 100 degrees, but without the bee suit, I would get stung all over with welts. So I'm going to put it on and let's start taking care of this yellow jacket nest with the vacuum. So you can see the hole in the center of the screen. That's the opening for the nest. They're going in and out. I can see them taking dirt out. They're making that cavity bigger, growing the nest. Also, workers are returning with food and water. Now what's going to happen is, as I set up the vacuum, there's soldiers and guards right there ready to attack. We're going to suck them all up, also get the ones returning. And after that slows down, we're going to dig down and get the cavity. So let's turn on the yellow jacket vacuum and start sucking them up. So I've run the vacuum for about 10 minutes. We sucked up quite a few yellow jackets. I'll take off the lid. So far, I haven't been attacked. They haven't been too aggressive. Any ones that come around get sucked up and end up in the water. There's a pretty good amount down there, but we can do better. When we start digging, they'll really come out and we'll completely fill up the water with yellow jackets. Ooh, just got one flying too. Awesome. Oh, we open up the chamber. Now they're pouring out of there. Look at all we're getting. I'll do some more digging. The nest is back in here. Once I hit the chamber, they're really going to come out. They are everywhere, but they're pretty easy to suck up in the vacuum.
There's the queen right there. You can see how big that queen is. We'll go ahead and suck her up. I'll show you her later. Well, we dug up the main chamber of the nest. You can see all the larva, the pupa, the future generations, layer after layer underground. They were feeding an army of yellow jackets. We even got the queen in there. She was pretty big. Let's take a look at how many we have inside the bucket. Well, mission accomplished. There's all the carnage, a whole nest of yellow jackets. I'm gonna go ahead and count these out to see how many we caught. Well, here's all the yellow jacket hornets we sucked up in the vacuum today, including the massive queen. She's about double the size of the other yellow jackets. Now, before I ask you to guess how many we have, so I'm gonna count these out one by one to see what the total count is. We'll start with one, the queen, two, three, four, five. So the total count is 347 adults that we sucked up in the vacuum. Now the actual number of the hive is much larger. There were many workers out foraging that weren't there to get caught. Also, with all those layers in the nest, there's many more of different life stages, including the eggs, larva, and pupa, who are emerging constantly. Some of them were even emerging as I examined the nest. So overall, the vacuum is a great way to suck up the yellow jacket nest, and then you can dig it up and destroy it. Thank you so much for watching my videos, and thanks to all the viewers who have sent me art. I love seeing the pictures. Also, I want to give a huge thanks to all the Patreon members. It's growing daily. I'm posting new exclusive content every week including a new visitor I caught on the trail cameras of my property. This summer has been much hotter than usual, and with that, the yellow jacket problem seems to be worse than ever. In future videos, I'll teach you how to trap these yellow jackets. Also, I found a few more nests that we're gonna dig up and destroy. If you haven't subscribed, please consider clicking that button. I've posted over 700 videos on YouTube, and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. So if you wanna see the best videos on how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.